Doing SEO for your Weebly website uh, really isn't any different than SEO for any other web design platform. Uh, it comes down to simply three things, keyword research, on-page optimization, and off-page optimization. Uh, people ask me all the time, can you rank Weebly websites really high in Google and get it on the first page? And the answer is yes, every single time, if you know what you're doing. So I'm going to show you how to uh, do SEO for Weebly, and uh, let's get started. All right, so for the sake of this demonstration, let's say I have a small business that sells custom snowboards, and I'm building an online store to sell these snowboards. Uh, if I want my website to rank for certain keywords, the first thing I gotta figure out is which keywords I want them to rank for. Uh, so I gotta do some keyword research. Uh, in order to do this properly, you're gonna wanna invest in a good keyword research tool. The one I use is called SE Cockpit. Um, there's a number of reasons why I like it over a lot of competitors, but I won't get into that right now as we're focusing uh, more on Weebly SEO. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'll show you how I use it. Uh, so basically what I've done here is I've inputted uh, the term custom snowboards into SE Cockpit. And what they do is they come up with a bunch of alternative keywords that uh, have a good amount of traffic and low competition that I can get my website to rank for. Because that is the key uh, to getting your website to rank. You want to look for keywords that get a good amount of searches uh, but have a low competition, which means that there's not a lot of websites or content out there made specifically for those keywords. So custom snowboards itself down here, this bar tells us that it's quite competitive. The bigger this bar is, the harder it is to rank for that keyword. So it might not be the best one to build our website around. But if you look closer to the top, you can see keywords like women's snowboards that gets almost five times or four times the amount of searches each month and is much less competitive. So let's take a look at what sites are ranking for this keyword. We can just click on that. And now we look at the top 10 websites that are ranked in Google right now for the term women's snowboards uh, globally because we search in all countries and territories. Uh, and what these numbers here tell us uh, is one of the most important numbers here. It's something called domain authority. Uh, this is what Google uses to determine uh, which websites are an authority in certain niches or categories or industries. So the lower this number is, the easier it will be to beat these websites um, to rank your website instead of theirs. Now obviously there's a bunch here that have really high numbers. Those ones are going to uh, be hard to outrank because you can see, well this one's obvious, it's Amazon.com, you're never going to beat them. Well, I shouldn't say never because look at this. You see two websites above Amazon, but they got lower numbers and you, it'll be easier uh, to compete with them for this keyword. So what we'd want to do then uh, is start building our website around the, key, the term women's snowboards. All right, so what I've done now is I've further targeted my keyword research uh, because I did a search in SE Cockpit for women's snowboards. And now I'm getting results and suggestions for other keywords built specifically around women's snowboards instead of just a more generic custom snowboards. And already we can see that the keyword suggestions here are really good. There's a lot of uh, decent traffic and some high traffic keywords and all of them are low competition. And by doing this, we can start to really see this is gonna help us a lot in the future when we start to build content around these keywords, for example, when we write blog posts, uh, this is going to be very crucial going forward. Uh, but for now, we've got multiple keywords um, that we can use to build our website around because really you shouldn't just have one or two. You should probably have maybe four to six uh, target keywords that you want to build your site around. So now that we've got that, we can go back to Weebly uh, and get to work. All right, so the first place we'll start is under the Settings tab. We'll take a look at the General and SEO sections. Uh, for the site title, let's say our business is called High Peak. We wouldn't just leave it at that. Uh, we'd want to put a brief little description of what the company does and, of course, include keywords 
that we had just done research for, like women's snowboards, right in the title. Site title is big, tells us tells Google what the site is about, and it shows the title on the top of each page. If you're selling stuff online, SSL is something you definitely want to consider. Uh, it just revolves around uh, security licenses. So uh, if people are entering their payment details on your site, uh, this provides extra security and Google will actually uh, reward you for that. And they'll punish sites uh, that don't have it, that are actually asking for credit card information. So if you're selling snowboards online, you'd wanna make sure to upgrade and turn this on. Uh, and then if you look a bit further down at the SEO section, uh, same thing, you'll enter a site description, but this will be uh, much longer. It allows you to do up to 250 characters. Uh, and this is kind of a summary of what Google will use to determine what your site's about. Uh, here is where you'll put in a description. And again, you want to use the keywords we just did research for. Custom, uh, women's snowboards, uh, and the rest says design and build your very own custom snowboard and leave everyone in your wake jealous of your unique style and flair. Only the best snowboards for sale here. Which, of course, snowboards for sale was also one of the keywords that we found in that list. So you want to make sure you include some keywords, but you want the language to be natural. Uh, you don't want to just stuff keywords in there. Google will recognize that and they'll punish you for that. It has to be a natural way of speaking and you ultimately want people to click through to your site. So you want to use natural language. Uh, meta keywords, this is basically where you just stuff uh, about 10 to 15, sometimes 20 uh, keywords into the meta section of your site. This isn't as important as it used to be because Google's gotten a lot smarter, um, but still it does, uh, again, tell Google about which keywords you want to focus on and what kind of stuff uh, you're offering on your site. So this would be basically where you um, enter a bunch of the keywords that we found on our list and separate them by commas. So that's all for this section. We'll take a look at uh, the pages page next. With the Weebly 4 update, uh, Weebly has offered a lot more uh, SEO advanced settings and, and custom settings based on each page instead of just the website as a whole. So when we take a look at the pages section, uh, right now we just have these five pages. <clears throat> uh, if you click on one of the pages, you get the option for page name, which is what will go in the navigation here. But then you also see SEO settings. And this is where you can enter stuff like page title, um, Obviously this would be, you would name your page based on what kind of content is on the page. And of course the keywords that we have, uh, you can also change the permalink. So you can, that's a huge uh, feature that Weebly has added now. Uh, you can't do it for the home page, obviously, but for any other page, you can make your own custom permalink. So if you put something like uh, custom women's snowboards uh, at the end of your link, that goes a long way uh, to boosting your SEO rankings. Uh, page description, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can do it just like you did with the settings section where you describe uh, what kind of content is on that page. And then of course, meta keywords, same idea. You enter the list of keywords separated by commas. Uh, you could just use the same keywords. Um, we'll just paste the stuff from the settings page um, on this page for now. But ideally, if you've got a lot of pages, you'd want to have uh, separate unique meta keywords that describe again what's on that page so that's the seo settings for each individual page all right so now we're going to take a look at search engine optimization when it comes to content and more specifically images so we're going to add an image right here in this spot and when you add images you want to make sure that the title of the picture is one of the keywords you're trying to target for so I'm going to click to upload a picture here and the picture I'm going to select is called custom women's snowboards. Women's snowboards is one of the keywords we're trying to target. Remember, so I'm going to drag it in, upload it and voila, pretty sick picture if I do say so myself, uh, but you're not done quite yet. With each image you upload uh, to your site, there's something called image alt tags. And what this does is it helps Google further understand what the context of that specific image is. So let me go back here real quick. So when you click on the image, you get all these different options. Um, we're gonna focus down here. Under advanced, you'll see right here something called alt text. 
and it just says picture. We're going to delete that. And instead, we're going to put uh, women's snowboards because that is one of the keywords we're trying to rank for. And you just enter that in, click back, and it's done. So it's important to always remember the title of the picture should be a keyword you're targeting for, and the image alt tags for that picture should also be one of the keywords that you're trying to target for. And that's optimizing images for SEO in Weebly. So now we're going to talk about blogging and how it can boost your SEO on your Weebly website and improve your Google rankings. Uh, so remember this list of uh, keywords that we had before that we're building our entire website around. Now we want to start writing content for the blog focused on answering uh, these questions found in these keywords. So for example, women's snowboards and best snowboards 2017 are two of the uh, biggest keywords that we're targeting, right? Uh, so what kind of content can we write that would answer people's questions when they're searching for this kind of stuff? Well, let's go back to the blog, start a new post. Remember, it's women's snowboards and best snowboards of 2017. So we could do something like uh, nine best women's snowboards of 2017. That's almost too easy. Uh, and then we can write an entire post listing what our favorite nine women's snowboards are for this year and why people should be or women should be interested in buying those. Uh, we want to make sure the content is high quality. You know, use lots of images, videos, make it very engaging. Um, if it's boring or if it doesn't answer the qu uh, questions that people have when they are searching for this stuff, people will leave very quickly and Google will punish you for that. But we'll talk about that a little bit more later. So make good use of the uh, categories features and write, just write lots of content. And this is one of the best ways you can boost uh, your website's rankings in Google. So get on the blogging, it's important. Next step in powerful Weebly SEO is internal linking structure. That basically means that you want to keep linking to yourself throughout your website as much as possible. But of course, you don't want to overdo it. Uh, you only want to link to other sections of your site when it, of course, makes sense um, to your visitors. Um, you also notice on most websites these days, and for many years, at the bottom of the website, there's kind of a, a second uh, navigation menu. It's also known as the footer of a website. And I'll show you an example of what that looks like. So here's a website I built for a client. Uh, they're a marble restoration company based out of Toronto. And on the bottom, you see we've listed all of the services they offer and linked to different sections of the site where it goes into further detail about those services. Uh, we've also offered links to resources, including information about the company, their blog. But you'll notice instead of calling it a blog, it's called it Marble Care Tips. Because uh, that's something more likely that people are going to search for. They're not going to look for Marble Towel blog, uh, but they will look for Marble Care Tips, which is what the blog talks about. So that's a good example of internal linking that you should have at the bottom of your site. Uh, it's kind of a second navigation menu where you can link to different sections of your site. And uh, it helps Google crawl your website and figure out all the little details uh, and types of content that your website has to offer. Also, don't forget to link to your social media profiles. All right, so the last step of on-page SEO for Weebly, or for SEO for any website for that matter, uh, is user experience. And this is often the most overlooked aspect of SEO by far, and it's become more important than ever, especially today. Uh, Google has placed a much larger importance on user experience. And what that means is it basically tracks uh, when visitors come to your website, whether they got the information they needed and if the quality of their visit was good enough. So there's basically three metrics that Google uses to track this. It's bounce rate, uh, pages per visit, and average time spent on site. And through these three different metrics, they can determine uh, whether visitors, when they come to your site, are getting what they need. So these days, you need to make a high quality site. It needs to be clean, it needs to be simple, it needs to be easy to navigate, super functional. Your customers need to be able to get what they want quickly. You know, there's so many websites these days that have insanely large websites with 10 to 15 pages when really they could condense all that information down into one or two pages. Make it super simple. So 
you need to, when you build your site, you need to um, integrate it with Google Analytics and keep track of those three different metrics to figure out if users are actually enjoying their stay on your site because it will have a major impact on how your site ranks in Google. All right, we're done with on-page optimization. Now it's time for the off-page. And when it comes to off-page SEO, one thing matters and one thing matters only is getting high quality links back to your website. What do I mean by that? So when high authority or well-known websites link back to your website, it tells Google that your website is worth listening to. It's an authority in your niche, your industry, and it basically tells Google that you're worth their time and you're worth, more importantly, their searcher's time. So for example, I recently wrote uh, an article about Google Plus and why it's super important to use uh, for online marketing, believe it or not. Uh, and what happened is this post got picked up by entrepreneur.com. When they were writing their own post uh, on Google Plus marketing, they decided to feature me as one of the top five reasons to use Google Plus. And they provided me with a link back to my blog and my website right here. Entrepreneur.com is one of the most well-known online uh, business, business blogs uh, in the world. So this really helped me boost my search engine rankings for uh, a lot of business related uh, blog posts that I have. So what you need to be doing is writing great content on your Weebly website, on your blog. Write stuff that's worth linking to, that people will want to link to, and get those quality links back to your site. That's really the only way, or it's definitely the easiest way uh, to get quality links back to your site. Obviously, of course, you want to start with creating a Google page for your business, uh, and then it can start appearing in search results like mine does here. Um, but again, it's all about creating content, creating stuff that's worthy of your visitor's time, and more importantly, uh, worthy of Google's time. So I highly recommend, if you want your website to rank for anything in your business niche, you need a blog. You need to write some great stuff, and it takes time, but people will find it and people will start linking back to you. And of course, don't forget to network. Like off-page optimization, another the only other thing you can really do is network with people offline. Go out there, meet people in person, uh, make friendships, uh, build relationships in business, team up with people, collaborate. That's how you can get the word out there. It's hard work, but that's the only way it can be done.